museum. He's walking alone. Hi, good morning everybody and we're coming straight from Marshall Canyon today and uh, uh, as you probably seen from the intro I got a little excited seeing the bear because uh, I've never seen a bear live especially in Southern California um, there are signs everywhere that says uh, watch for bears you know if you're gonna come here but you know I never expected the bear to be just on the road in the morning um, it's pretty big it's bigger than mountain lion pretty big so if you're out here alone that might be a little bit scary uh, today we'll, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and dial down my suspension because I'm on the coils and uh, I've never dialed my coil suspension down before um, so I think uh, previous uh, rides a lot of people are telling me that um, you know the coil that you, I was getting bucked. They, people can see me getting bucked over because they, you know the, my suspension wants them to throw me up forward. So we're gonna today we're gonna try and hit these jumps here in at the end of Marshall Canyon and see if I can at least dial my suspension down a little bit uh, just so you know I don't get bucked. So when we go back to Greer and when we do jumps, it, it, I don't I don't go crazy. Uh, so that we'll see you guys in just a bit. So it doesn't do that or what? If you guys have, if you guys know what to do, let me know. I'm going to try and fix to see just the spring so if I can see if I can get the, uh, to not have this play. I don't know when this play came in so it might be a big issue. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys know how to do this. But I'm gonna play around, see if I can get that, stop that play. Oh, that is completely loose. Holy shit. <laughs> that is where the play came from. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, what's the right torque? I don't know. I have to wing it, so I have to go back and see my torque settings. I don't wanna over torque this that seems good let's see if that got rid of the play yep definitely got rid of the play all right on to tuning this thing right here um let's see let's see the sag so hard to tell is that 30 percent uh don't know. <laughs> well, only way to find out is to test riding it. We'll see what happens. I tested the first two runs, and uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and twist the coils. Um, so that I can get less um, preload and see what that happens. So it's kind of twisting the coils to the bottom of the shock so that you have less preload and we'll see if it's better. I know it'll give me 
I don't, it, it should make it stiffer, I think, I believe. That's the idea. Um, because when you preload more, it should make it softer because you compress the shot. But a lot of people say don't do that. So I want to try and get it right at, this, right at the right balance and then give it just a tiny bit of preload. Uh, I'm going to try and adjust it to that position and see if I can do it. With the bigger lip on the, the jump that's to the left side, it has that bigger lip to it. And uh, what I find myself feeling is that every time I pass the lip, I feel like I'm OTBing a little bit. Um, is that natural? Because you're going up the wall and then when you pop up, you, the bike uh, adjusts or is that I'm just going through after the jump because because of my springs I'm getting bucked um, I don't know <laughs> I would I don't have a hundred percent answer because again I'm not a professional but you know we're trying to make these micro adjustments to see if it changes or not it, and and understand this it could possibly very well be my riding because my timing's off. I'm releasing my pop too late, and that forces me to get bucked over. And uh, it could be that. So it's, you know, not always 100% equipment most of the time, but equipment does play a factor. So I'm gonna try and see if I can, you know, release a little bit early so I don't get that pop. Because the first time I did it, I released a little early, and I don't get that OTB feeling. But we're gonna try again. So again, hitting that jump with different speed, popping earlier or later does make that difference of that feeling getting bucked over. So can you, can I 100% say for sure it is a spring setting, it is a tire setting or whatever it is. I would say as a rider, intermediate rider like me, uh, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not like a beginner rider. I've been riding for four, five years. Uh, I'm not the best jumper because when we first started, when we were in Taiwan. But what I'm saying is this: let's get to a point. <laughs> what I'm saying is this: as an intermediate rider, I am still forced to look at this jump based on speed, and based on my body positioning, and based on how early I pop, how late I pop to get that to, to get rid of that OTB feeling. Um, a lot of people might say, hey, you know, my equipment is this, my equipment is that, but in all honesty, it's still about, I think it's, it has a lot more to do with the way you ride as an intermediate. That's, 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 the, that's the key point. As an intermediate, we still have to work on those skills to get that right pop in order to really utilize that suspension. Um, but in any case, when we're talking about high speed, low speed, and all that stuff, rebound, um, you know, it, it does affect regular riding, and uh, it probably less so affects jumping um, or jumping skills, but it does, it does. Everything plays into it, but you know, as an intermediate rider, it's more, I think it's better to work on the skills rather than um, trying to get your suspension dialed in because you're, once your riding behavior changes, your suspension changes. I, I believe that. So, and I think it's an ongoing battle. Uh, once you improve, once you go faster, once you're able to go pro speed, well, not pro speed, but once you're able to go really fast, things on your bike starts changing. And it, you, you, you stop using the stock settings. You want personalized, customized settings. Um, so we're gonna try and mess around a little bit more and see, just see what everything feels like. And, uh, We'll go from there. This is lit. Ah. 
actually, that felt really good. I felt like I can pick up speed and then uh, pop up a little bit later. And uh, actually, it might just honestly just be due to that rebound thing that's making me feel like it's I'm being bucked. I just need a slower rebound instead of you know the stock settings, which I'm not sure where the stock settings are, but um, according to you know Fox and Dialed, you're supposed to find, figure out where you're at, which position you're in. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do that. I just went from the stock settings. I just kind of minus two, and um, have to remember that I did minus two, so that in any settings uh, I can go back and. Uh, find out from Norco what the settings is. So uh, what I think I'm gonna do next is lower that firm compression to give me, um, make it less firm. So maybe it feel a little bit more soft. And, and guys, remember, I'm winging it. <laughs> All right, I'm just, that's the part of my channel. Send it Frankie, I'm just sending it. I don't know if it works, if it works for you. It's, just, I'm just trying to mess with it progress if I have issues I'll go back to bike shop and uh, try to get it dialed try to learn because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are in the same position as me you want to ride you want to figure this all by yourself because you love mountain biking right we love mountain biking we like to nerd out on all these crazy things so you know we want to test we want to take some time to learn about you know mechanics and suspension and all that so it's a lot of testing on your own you know my some people might some people might go crazy and say hey you know what are you doing you know you're not doing it right but by not doing it right i hope i don't kill the 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 bike but you know at least i know exactly what the settings are and how they feel so i'm gonna try and do that subtract well add less uh minus the firm All right, so the question of the day is, <laughs> do I do this? This is not too crazy. Look at that. Let me get to the side. Eh, once you hop over that, your bike is gonna clear it pretty quick. So, that tree is the thing that scares the shit out of people. <laughs> I think people are gonna be like, ah, I'm gonna run into the tree. But you know, if you go straight, you won't run into the tree. You can kind of just clear this and then you don't really have to clear, clear it because I mean, you could roll it, but it's not a really a good roll. But I believe we came here to do what we uh, wanted to do, and uh, I don't know if my settings are correct. Um, this is a, try a lot of trial and error, so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, today's episode. Um, I think uh, when I go back, I'm gonna research more. I'm gonna try and refine more, learn more about shock settings because coil shocks takes time. And uh, it's possible that I will be getting that uh, spring dex uh, spring um, because it's like a torsion uh, bar that allows you to adjust the, the pounds on the spring. So you can adjust it on the go, which I think with different, like so many different types of terrain that you're riding, with these jumps or if it's, you know, just straight rocks, rock gardens and stuff, you know, it, these, these things vary. So it's actually really awesome to have that spring decks. But um, I think today we accomplished a lot. Uh, we did that jump. We did that jump. Uh, it's not as scary as it is. The only scary thing is it's because of those two trees and, you know, usually, you know, what's visually scary inside the brain becomes scary. But um, if you just look, if you just make it feel like it's a regular jump it's not that bad so that hope hope you guys enjoyed today's episode um hope you guys didn't find this too boring um again <laughs> editing my videos this morning i thought i freaking put my 
memory card into my GoPro, but I didn't. Uh, right when I pressed record, it was like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> no SD card. But we always try to make things work. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's, I mean, not this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. There we go again. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up and share on your Facebook or anything. That would definitely help me out. Um, you know, thumbs up tells YouTube algorithm that you guys um, like my stuff. Um, people are searching for it, and so they'll recommend it to others. Uh, with that, also, please hit up my Patreon. I put a lot of info in there. Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, blah, blah, blah. Panel shots, all that stuff. So if you guys are interested, head on there. And I also have a lot of raw videos um, that unedited, uncut, no music, nothing. And uh, I post it reg I'm starting to post regularly on Patreon. So if you guys are interested in supporting me, please head up on that Patreon. So with that, see you guys tomorrow.